Hey, YouTube's your boy, Magnificent. So we got the S550 and because of just being an awesome vehicle and we needed the size, we got a Sprinter. Now, this is a normal Sprinter. Kind of looked at all the possibilities. There's so many things you can do to this thing. Now we want to make it uh, shine. We're gonna do some tires, make it all rough and tough, of course, like we have done the other vehicle. But for now, we're gonna start off with what people see the most. I'm not big on the stars and the bends and all that, but I got this like 300 years ago, <laughs> like literally two years ago. I just uh, didn't know what to do with it because I didn't realize that it was a lot bigger than the W220 that I had star. So we're gonna go ahead and change as the first mod of the Benz Beast era is going to be the star. I'm gonna final wrap this carbon fiber. I'm gonna paint this black. We're gonna have a star here. So even though it looked like it fit, it doesn't. Okay, so here is a little test run. We're just gonna... Stands out so much, it's so cool. We make the streams louder. Okay, go ahead and take out the star. Show what we got. All right, so nice and shiny. It'll be an LED star when you turn on your, basically this is gonna be part of the DRLs um, going through. So we're gonna show you how to change that real quick. Now I did consider before I got this, just putting LED strips right here, which you also can do, buy LED, LED strips, cut them to size. Um, the challenge you'll have is connecting them. So you can cut them and put them to size. You'd have to drill a hole right here and then connect the other two with the wires right here, right here, and right here. That's another option I thought, eh, uh, then I saw this, it just looks so clean, right? The star goes around all the way through, so the whole thing will light up. I thought it just looked cleaner. So here's what it comes with. It comes with the star, clean like that. The LED, that, that must comes with this connection, so it's real easy. This piece just connects to the back, and then of course you'll connect the hot comes and the from. ground, the red and blue, uh, black, to the power ground you want. Whether you want it to turn on with your DRLs, whether you want it to turn on with your uh, headlights, whatever you want, you can turn it on. Or if you just want a normal toggle switch, you can turn it I on. I want to be able to get into, I need to be able to get in here so I can be able to wire and stuff. It's easy to take this out easily, but because they're just clips that hold this thing together. So you just got to get in the back and pop it. But I need to be able to wire. So off these five, five little clips. So it'll be one, two, three, four, five, sorry, and six. You take off those clips and then you're going to take off this T, what is it? T5. No. no, T20. T20, use the T20 torque to take these two out, this one and this one, and it should come out. So let's go. So I'm just gonna just get this pop, use a very small screwdriver, pop it up. This one just comes out straight. There we go. I'm gonna pull this out first. I should have done see i should have just pulled this out so you want to just pull the whole thing out together because this is stuck it doesn't come out like most things so make sure you don't pull this piece out pull this this piece out first and it just come out all right do the same thing for these two put them all in here perfect next all right so what happens once you come here if this actually starts popping out you got to push it back in because it's not ready to come out you got to get this out first because it kind of flares, flares. So if it has not come up all the way, it needs to be shrunk. So it, it's still like this. So push this back in if it's having trouble. You may have to wedge something while you pull it out, but I'm sure to see, not notice how I'm wedging, pulling, it's coming straight out. Look at that. That's what I thought the other one was, but it must've been tight because it had been there for 300 years. Now it just comes out easily. See, I'm not going to get it out to make it easy for myself. So if you notice, you could just, can you see that? The star is right here. So I could just get, there's these clips. Let me see if you see my hand. There's a clip right here. There's another one right here. And you just gotta push down and it'll pop out. All right, I'm gonna do it up here first. See this clip? Right here. Just press down and push out, that's all. It's metal, so you're gonna have to get something to push on. Just pop. Can you see it? Take this off right here. And it just gets off. So one right here, you know. And what are the other ones? 
two, three. You guys see him? And then right here. Model. So I guess all I need to do, all you gotta do is take these off. You don't need to take these off. Do some painting. I'm gonna vinyl wrap this carbon fiber. I'm gonna paint this black. We're gonna have a star here. So I'm gonna remove this and it's simple. There's just these clips here, just hold it. You just pull it back. And once it's out, you can just pull. So boys, girls, help me. So hold this out. Yep. So that's over here. I'm gonna pull this out and you just pull. Yep. Pull up though. See? Here we go. Next. This one pulls out. There we go. Next. There we go. There it is. Separated. Is it separated? Oh, hold on. One more. Back up. Go down. Here's the last one. Oh, this clip. Gotta take that out still. Yeah. So that clip is one I forgot to take out. Or I didn't. But all right. So I can't figure out how to get this out. So just gotta break it. So. Oh, there it is. I just did it. Huh? So you just smash down, and it's out. So it, it needs to clear this little piece right here, and I couldn't do it. But all right. So I don't sure whether it came out because I'd already gotten the others out. But she's out. So now. Just kind of go around and uh, get these buggers out. All right, so just gotta get this one and we're done. So I'm gonna see if I can use the same method I used before. There it is. So it's just to use a rubber thing, but it's out now. All right, so housing. Once you get that thing in, <laughs> I'm telling you, it ain't coming out. So you know it could be secure. So all right, so now I'm gonna go ahead and clean it up. The dilemma that my two assistants solved. These are the best assistants in, in, on, in the country. So even though it looked like it fit, it doesn't. This is a slightly smaller. Um, so what we're gonna do, thanks for my two assistants, I could figure a way to get, get this to fit in here. However, gonna... we can't cover this little piece and it looks so, you know, it'll look tacky. So my assistant, so tell us, tell us what we're gonna do, assistant. We're gonna cut out this star and then. So cut out the leave. ends of these star, but leave the the, the circle. And then. And then put like, it back in there, just like. Right here. So it'll go just like this, with the circle being the only thing that covers this, and then you would have the interior part of it. Right there. We'll go right there, and we'll figure a way to plant that. So we're gonna go ahead and cut the star out of the circle, and then we will go and then cut, of course, these pieces off as well. Perfect. All right, so just cut these out, we're good. That guy, you're a genius, buddy. All right, so we remove this piece from the LED light. We're gonna go ahead and sand and paint. We're gonna sand and paint this. I've already cut throughout. I used the Dremel to go ahead and smoothen it out. And for the pieces that I broke, we're gonna glue it. But first we're gonna sand. Is a little test run. We're just gonna, I'm not gonna get it cemented in. We're just gonna kind of see what it'll look like. All right, so make sure it's even. And wham, guys, it'll light up. The star. All right. So I'm gonna cut these sections here so that when I put these on, these just fit into it. So. Just 
shambles, but uh, <laughs> it doesn't matter because no one's gonna see it. But these are the pockets I created for those holes and it's gonna fit in perfectly at this point. So I use this as my uh, anchor point. And so of course I'll show you, it's gonna fit perfectly now or it's gonna be wedged in so that it doesn't move. So those stars are cut through. I start off there and just push in. Now it's just gonna wedge in almost like a clips. Fits perfectly. I'm looking at how much space is in between here. I still got a little bit here, but push a little bit more, not bad. I might do this a little bit more so it fits in just a little bit more snug, but uh, should be good. Now we're just gonna wire it in. I'm gonna vinyl wrap this area when, I'm, when I get the vinyl. This is the uh, DRL right here, so I'm just gonna took off the took off the cap. The DRL cap right here. So I took off the DRL cap right here. Oops. All right, so cap right here. Just gonna wire powering ground and done. All right, so I'm connecting these with just the little posy taps. I'm gonna just connect these ends here to those ends there. So let's see what happens. I'm gonna make the connection. She's gonna see if it lights up. Lit up? Can't see it because it's. It's actually lit up right now. You can't see it because it's light outside, but it is lit up. I'm gonna take it off so you can see. All right, so I finished the vinyl wrap on this first side. So check it out. Not bad, right? Not bad, not bad. Um, you can do this in one piece, but uh, <laughs> it's challenging. So I'm gonna introduce you to something if you haven't already heard of it, that is almost the best thing since sliced bread. It's called knifeless tape. So I uh, use it sometimes like vinyl. And so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put it right here and I'm gonna basically overlap my vinyl, meaning start right here. And so that when I'm done, the knifeless tape will just peel off and it, it'll create this line. Um, I'll show you as I do it now. First step is to, there's, there's a little wire or not wire, but cloth, I guess that is taped to this tape. What you're gonna do is get it off. Okay. I separate it from the tape. You don't need a bunch, just enough to start, so. All right, so now you got it separated. We'll pull some to the side. Okay, like so, and what I'm gonna do is get the adhesive side, and I'm going to start right here, where I want it to start in the middle, so right about here, right, yep. You want it to be straight, So, give a better look. Here she is. So she's pasted down there. And let's go underneath, as you will. And she's right here. So this is, oh dang it, I should have started earlier. That's okay. Typically the tape, the rope will be underneath, which I can still do. I'm gonna pull the rope down so that my vinyl is underneath the tape. You know what? I can do the design going the opposite direction just for effect, opposite. you know? That so cool. it'll be going yeah, do that. like so. That would probably be a cool idea. So I'll do that. So that the tape will start right there. Yeah, and I'll do that. Better yeah. That's so that would look really cool. So 
keep it up like this. And I got no pressure on it, yes. Do you want me to hold the thing in place with my foot? That's what I did. That's what I did, that's exactly how I did it. She is wrapped all right not bad now you don't see it but there's a line see it it's right here now if I had made the design the same I don't think you'd have seen the line but because I wanted to have alternate designs there it is right there so let's see if that uh, knifeless tape does its magic and I'm really scared because it could mess up everything I work for see here There's my tape. The line is clean, so let's reveal and see what happens. Okay, so now it is in the middle. Now I got to, I'm gonna put some heat and see if I can get this line to blend in better. If not, it'll be stuck because I ain't doing it. I ain't redoing it. Well, what do you think? It actually looks decent. Not bad, huh? You can't, I mean, it's a line, but it actually looks like it's supposed to be there. So. For the small little air bubbles, here's a trick that I use. And hey, again, I'm a novice. You can tell me if you're if there's a better way or not, which the better, the better way is probably just do it right. But when I have air bubbles that, I mean, they're stuck, they won't come out, I just get a very, very sharp knife and just cut a little, just along with the design, just cut it. And then you can have air, the air will come out. because there's a, it's like an air release. Bubble's gone. Voila, bubble's gone. So that's my trick. Looks factory, right? Like it's supposed to be there. So, man, I'm going to different directions. One's going this side, one's going this side. So let's install her, come on. She is. I say that is the finished product. Not bad, not bad. Most Mercedes, you're looking at the gray and black wire, which is, in this case, um, it's used typically this one, right? There's two different wires. Let me see if I can zoom in here. So I said, well, they both look white. And so I, sorry, brown, I apologize. It's a gray and brown. Anyway, so I, I had trouble finding the right wire. I couldn't tell 
whether it was white and what this was white and gray or whether it was this one but here's what i discovered i first connected it here and i used my multimeter and it told me that it was only getting 0.4 volts literally 0.4 and that's typically the headlight one i said well maybe it's not that one so i connected it to this bigger one and i got nothing so what i had to do was i actually had to go into into the actual housing of the light and i found the headlight wire which is this yellow one it's so it's yellow there's one that's yellow and there's one that's brown and of course i know brown is typically the, the ground so i had to tap into this with this uh tapper whatever you call it tap into this uh yellow wire which is the headlight wire and it works perfectly so i wanted to come on when the headlights come on how am I gonna close up uh, that spot? Well, these wires here. I'm gonna fill it up with the great slough for silicone. Um, better yet, I'm gonna use um, just hot glue to seal it up. All right, so it's just dark enough to show you what it looks like. Here we go. Bam, not bad. It looks yellow somehow but it's actually white as can be. Um, it's really, really white. I don't know why it looks yellow. Maybe because of this hue here, but so got this done. Now just gotta go ahead and get some better lights. I'm gonna change this up and, you know, add, add, some, HID, add some HIDs and actually change up the whole thing, add some LEDs inside and all that. So guys, it's very, really, real simple. You can do it. It didn't fit, but you can make it work anyway, mod it up. So I hope uh, it was helpful. If I made any mistakes, Throw, that, throw them down in the comments. Let me know what I could have done better. Um, if you liked it, hey, uh, hit that uh, thumbs up. Like, comment, subscribe. Magnificent signing out.